ओके टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट द चासिस फ्रेम दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर एंड इन दैट फर्स्ट चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द चासिस फ्रेम ओके सो फर्स्ट आई विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कॉम्पोनेंट्स व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू द चासिस फ्रेम so basic structure of chassis frame uh, if we consider the commercial vehicle in commercial vehicle this is the uh, structure okay if we consider the uh, car structure then in that some variation uh, may present for example okay so uh, this is related to car okay and uh, this is related to commercial vehicle uh, why this difference is there because in car the space is uh, very less as compared to the commercial vehicle or truck and so that as the space is maximum then this straight frame is preferred in case of that so why such type of uh, portion is provided because in case of this car chassis we want the ground clearance less this is the main purpose to provide uh, this chassis which is uh, at the lower level as uh, compared to that commercial vehicle okay so uh, why it is required because uh, in case of uh, truck we uh, trucks or cars or in automobile we want uh, to avoid the skidding of vehicle okay so this is the main purpose or we say that uh, stability is important okay so uh, when we achieve the stability uh, uh, when we provide the center of gravity point at the lower level then only the stability uh, gets present in case of vehicle so the designer's aim is to locate the overall center of gravity point at the lower level this is the main uh, aim in case of designing this uh, chassis frame okay so uh, so that this portion is uh, at the lower side this clearance in case of trucks as truck is a uh, heavy vehicle and the space occupied in that is higher in amount so uh, all components which is located on the top portion and uh, the ground clearance the higher ground clearance is possible in case of this vehicles okay now if we consider the components which is related to uh, to this chassis frame so these two bars are called as long members and this small bars are called as cross members
so these are the major components in case of chassis frame now if we consider the cross section of this long member the cross section is generally this c shape c shape frame should be uh, provided in case of this frames uh, or uh, in case of this uh, long members okay different types of uh, cross sections of long members are available like if we consider the c section we already tell you that c section then tubular section may present i section bars are also present then hat section are present then square type of tubes are also available so these are the different cross sections which are uh, used in case of these frames now what are the different uh, components which are mounted on that chassis frame if we consider uh, this frame this is called as a backbone of the vehicle why it is called as backbone because all the small structure which is related to that vehicle is mounted on that frame so it is called as backbone of that vehicle for example if we see the different components which is located on this frame so in some vehicles engine is located on the front side so engine is provided here and engine is mounted by using the engine mount this is engine mount so engine having large amount of weight if we consider here fuel tank is pre present okay this is fuel tank so fuel tank if that vehicle uh, fuel tank is full then weight of that fuel tank is again high then some brackets are attached to this long members and on that brackets the different components like battery is provided battery is required to start the vehicle so the battery is located here for example then in case of this commercial vehicles springs are provided this is leaf springs are provided okay so weight of that springs are also added in case of this frame then major components that is cabin cabin of that vehicle is mounted with the help of brackets on this chassis frame so this cabin is again come and weight of that to uh, total weight of the cabin comes on that frame okay apart uh, from that uh, load body is again important on the back side here load body is mounted okay and this load body is again important so these are the major components because goods are mounted in that load body and that weight is uh, weight is also comes on that chassis frame so all these components which are important while designing this chassis frame okay so these are the major components which is related to the chassis frame if we consider the uh, manufacturing process then it is made with uh, that uh, uh, the material steel material is used in case of that frames for making that frames okay so uh, this is related to the frames then types of chassis frame chassis layout types of chassis layout conventional control chassis
semi forward control chassis and third is full forward control chassis okay these are the three different types of chassis layout that is conventional control chassis semi forward control chassis and full forward control chassis these are the different uh, layouts if we see the diagram which is related to conventional control chassis if we consider this is the vehicle if this is the engine this is driver driver is available here for example so if we consider the distance between this driver and this engine or this sorry uh, engine is located here so this is called as conventional control chassis in case of con conventional control chassis the space is not completely utilized this is the disadvantage in case of conventional control chassis if we see the next that is semi forward control chassis then uh, the engine is located half at the front side and for example like like this engine is located half on the front side and half in that cabin okay so here driver position is available so such case is called as semi forward control chassis okay this is the case if we see full forward control chassis so in this case driver position is also at the front side if this is the cabin so driver is located for example here and on the downward portion of that driver's cabin here engine is located so if we compare all three methods so this is the uh, most uh, in this method the space is mostly utilized in third case so if we compare all these three methods so full forward control chassis uh, this is the good method while uh, 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 while making the layout of chassis frame okay so in this way the designer select the chassis layout okay so if we see uh, the design procedure of chassis frame actually this is not related to our subject but for additional information if we see how to design that frame then uh, <coughs> for example this is long member so on this long member we consider the different weights so this is cabin weight so here battery weight fuel tank load body then weight of suspension here and on rear side also suspension okay then uh, cabin uh, steering mechanism okay all these weights are uh, find out and all these weights are located on that frame okay on on that long member if we consider this is long member actually in vehicle two long members are available like this but while designing this chassis frame 
single long member is considered and on that single long member all these weights are considered okay and after that uh, which is uh, that, is, that is half weight is considered on this side and half is considered on the other side okay so while designing the frame only one long member is considered and uh, the uh, load is divided by two and that half weight is adds on that long members okay so this is actually uh, the weight which is coming on that long member now uh, designer finds out the bending moment calculation for that long member okay so by using that information we get where the bending of vehicle is maximum okay for example in this case uh, the bending is maximum at this location so here we get some value about uh, that bending moment and by using our simple formula that is stress is equal to uh, that is bending moment uh, m into i by y so by using this uh, formula uh, we can get the stresses okay so the, from this inform uh, sorry from this uh, we get the bending moment calculations and uh, after substituting uh, this bending moment in bending stress equation then we can get the values of bending stress and now uh, that bending stresses are compared with the help of permissible stresses and these permissible stresses are uh, getting from uh, our uh, uh, our um, that is material selection from that material selection we get this information by comparing that bending stress values we can uh, sure that whether that uh, uh, design is safe or not so in this way uh, designer designs this uh, chassis frame so this is some additional information which is related to this chassis frame okay so uh, we stop our lecture thank you